Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, you're in for a treat on this Ask Bob Mortgage Show. Typically, it's me getting asked the questions and answering them. This time, I have McKinney Boyd, Texas Tech graduate, and ex NFL athlete Taylor in the hot seat. I'm asking him the questions, he's answering it. Check it out. You have questions, I have answers. Great, great question. What I want to be able to do is give you world life experiences that I've been going through. So you, you did, uh, you were a punter? Yeah, punter. Okay. Um, graduated in 15. From where? Texas Tech. Oh, Tech, okay. Yeah. Yeah, where'd you go to high school? I went to McKinney Boyd, out in McKinney here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so from oh. the area. Okay, so you're from the area. So yeah. Boyd over to uh, Tech, and then uh, Tech, where'd you go after that? I went to Minnesota, was uh-huh. there for a little bit. Then um, had like a, that next year was like my free agent year, if you will. Mm-hmm. It's with probably ten different teams. Okay, so like off like yep, short yep. on times here yep, and there. Yep. And then was most recently with the Giants. Okay. And then that finished up about. So yeah, I wanted to come more teams after that, and then finished up about that like six months ago. And I was like, okay, because I never got a chance to do anything as far as my major was in business, mm-hmm. it was marketing management. Mm-hmm. So I just focused on like football in that case because we were we had to be there for summer and we didn't have a chance to do anything mm-hmm. so as soon as about that six months was up i still train because i'm still like staying active if that something happens mm-hmm. i'm there okay but it's more of like okay i gotta focus on this next whatever time frame this is mm-hmm. to to learn the industry learn business sure want to be in real estate for a long time so the so are you still you still you're still trying to stay active because you don't know if there's a potential call situation. Yeah, it'll be like this next year or my last year of like staying active toward that. So like, why, 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 why do you, why do you feel that way? It's been, this would be going in my basically three and a half years of pursuing this. So it's been off and on, off and on. And the first two years is because I was too young. That was like the reason. Okay. So the teams I was at, the guys were 35 in a contract already. And they only keep one in my position. They don't keep backups. Can't be a practice squad guy. Yeah. So like they'll just call you off the street. I had a couple of those where like, hey, we're gonna need you here, and it's like Monday. Like we're gonna need you here for this game. It's like okay, cool. So it's just like you really have to kind of stay in it year round. Okay, okay. So so you you um yeah. So they're not they're not keeping backups. No. There's no backup hunters. Mm-hmm. Okay. So something happens on a Sunday. You need to be out there for Monday night game. You just okay, okay and then you yeah. go right. Yeah. But. Um, to get into, I mean, I mean, what are there? How many teams are there in the NFL? Thirty-two. Yeah, so there's only thirty-two punters, right? Yeah. So, how difficult is it to break in? I mean, there's only thirty-two. How difficult is it to break into that? It's got to be, what, well, almost impossible. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah. Not percentages not are sure. not very, very high. Yeah. It's, um, just about, it's really timing, honestly. Yeah. Like certain coaches want young guys. Certain coaches want old guys. And I kind of just in a situation where mm-hmm. I was an older guy, mm-hmm. um, and as well as contracts. Not just that; it's like if they were to let some of those, like um, if they were to let some of those guys go. As I was with, it would have cost them a million dollars just to let them go. Just let them go. So, have you found okay? Because you you played at at the highest level, uh, which would be the top one percent of the one percent. How difficult has it been, if any, to transition to what we are like layman's, like the real world of just doing business every day? Uh, have you found any difficulty in that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as far as I always used to make fun of people like, God, you're working hard. But now, like being in that, it's a different hard work. Like it's a, it's not so much like it's not physical strain, but it's like a mental exhaustion. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And mm-hmm. there's physical too. That because like right now I'm working what 12 hour shifts, mm-hmm. just just at work, and then obviously outside of that too. Mm-hmm. I'm just like damn, I'm drained at the end of the week. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, let's relax. Mm-hmm. So I totally understand that. That side of things, one, I had no idea about. To a lot of the just developing the skills, like business, there's different skills, same with like in sports, there's different skills you kind of have to learn and possess. Mm-hmm. Well, coming out, having kind of developed some of them, but kind of getting to the point where it's like, okay, you're kind of, you're crafting your own way of doing it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of where I'm trying to, the transition part's happening. Right. Which is cool. That's why I picked um, the goosehead model, like the goosehead, because mm-hmm. the model allowed me to work on certain skills I want to develop. Mm-hmm. So like the set personal selling, like working with people, getting to meet them, one, like never had met them before, Stuff like that, I get to go do that. Mm-hmm. I was like, I want to, even if it's not there forever, I want this skill because mm-hmm. I can take that with me where I go. Mm-hmm. So, like for me, that's where it's like that's the learning part mm-hmm. with me of just doing that constantly. So, did, was there any? Because um, I've talked to athletes, right, that have transitioned from their level to business world. 
Was there any struggles like ego, pride, I'm at the highest level, paid this, now I gotta go work. Was it tough for you to transition out of that? Yeah, it was, like the first, because I kind of, I tried to slowly transition by consuming a lot of content mentally. I wasn't there physically yet, mm -hmm. but my mind, I was trying to change it to where like, hey, let's start thinking different. Right. So it kind of made it a little bit easier over an extended period of time, but I mean, like, the shift of going there is like, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. My mind was trying to jump to this, like after football, because I knew it was going to come at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it was, mentally it was more of like, dang, like I've worked 22 years mm -hmm. for this one moment mm -hmm. and all that's leading up to this, like, okay, like how, yeah. Now it's gone. Now it's like, now it's like, I got to start over in mm -hmm. a sense, mentally, like, okay, I got to develop totally different skills, utilize totally different things and build from the ground up, mm -hmm. like almost like a, a restart. Right. Um, so that was definitely hard because like, man, like you're like at this peak, mm -hmm. if you will, and you're like, dang, okay, cool. Like people would like, come up to me, like all that kind of stuff. Sure, so man, you like, got everything. Have any, yeah. any, anybody you want. I mean, yeah, you can just, date anybody. I mean, you're pro. Yeah. Oh, now you do insurance. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's, you're it's an insurance split. guy. Oh, yeah. we don't want to see you, exactly. right? It's I mean, like so have you have you taken anything that you've learned from the coaching side of it, the mental preparation, the physical preparation, the the, the discipline? Is is any of that helping you in what you're doing today? Absolutely. Like those are like the key things that the ones you actually mentioned okay. of like what kind of separates me from everybody else because mm -hmm. I had to do it. Mm -hmm. Like that was, it's almost become now where I don't really think it's like, it's just required. Mm -hmm. So like that's definitely something I learned from that and I'm thankful for those things. Mm -hmm. Now it's just about taking those skills and applying it to like the actual business. content. Or like, business itself, yeah. Exactly.